Hey everybody, good evening. So I'm making progress on the virtual rotation, understanding more and more every single day, and I'm getting closer. So I definitely got rotation with this configuration. I got uh, two coil, two phases, 90 degrees at a phase, at a 90 degree angle. Okay. Now, you know it's, now you could get confused with a compass because if it's reciprocating back and forth, it still might rotate. But you could tell if it's rotation like this. I'm going to put the compass in. It immediately goes into rotation. And you see how it's going counterclockwise. It's going to the left. Every single time I put this compass in there, it will go left. It will never go right unless I switch the leads, which I'll do in a minute. So this rotation goes left. Take it out. Compass is stopped. Put it in. It goes left. I've done it dozens and dozens of times. It only goes left. As you see, one more time, then we'll switch it. Okay, boom. Left, 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 left. Now we're going to switch the leads on one coil. Now it don't matter what way you really hook this up, what phase you put on which wire, because the only thing it changes is the direction of rotation. So we'll hook it up like this. Now this should go clockwise. Now look, it's going clockwise. Now every... Every time I put it in there, it's going to go what direction? Clockwise. So this is true rotation happening in here, magnetic rotation. It's not reciprocation fooling us. It is rotation. Clockwise. And I could do this a billion times. It'll never go counterclockwise because the magnetic field is spinning clockwise. Clockwise. Now I'm going to switch it one more time, put it back on counterclockwise. Try not to mix these wires up. Now I'm going to reveal something else in a minute. Okay. Now we're back counterclockwise, right? So watch. Counterclockwise. So without a shadow of a doubt, this thing is rotating. Now, I use an induction coil to watch the scope. I'm not going to do this on video to see if it's totally even all around and it's not it's perfectly even here here and here and here at the faces while it's in front of coils but when it reaches the 45 degree angle between these coils we start losing induction because of the joining right there and this isn't solid okay so that is the issue right now and I I'm 99% sure I know how to correct it. Now, I don't plan on taking this apart again because this was uh, kind of hairy to wind. I got 400 turns on, on each phase, a total of 800 turns in there. And it was hard to get it into the slots. But it's, uh, it's cool. Now, so you could use um, one phase or two phase pickup coil, 90 degrees out of phase or one phase, and get equal balanced rotation out of this one but you can't do three phase with this you can't do four phase because of this stupid you can't do five six seven any poly phase because of this gap because these coils are separated so the coils have to be arranged in a different manner if we want smooth rotation 360 degrees and not have these stupid dead spots in between so even though it seems like it should be perfectly smooth it's not but it's perfectly smooth taking the four points going from here to here to here to here like a diamond. But it's not circular. Now one more time. It kicks into motion right when you get into the, by the core. Of course if you're out here I'm not in the core. You got to get in there a bit. And every time it will go in the same direction. So if you are going to play with this that's how you tell if you have true rotation. Or if you have like reciprocation or partial rotation. If it'll spin one way one time, but every now and then it spins the other way, then the other way, it's not rotation or it's not balanced rotation because balanced rotation is only going to spin that compass one way, the way it's rotating. It can't go against the rotation. So this will counterclockwise every single time, just like I showed there. And you double verify it by switching one of the leads around and see if it starts going the other way. Then you know you got your rotation. So... I don't know if I'm going to do too much more on this one. I, uh, I'm going to look around and see if I could rebuild once again. 
because I really want full rotation all the way around 360 degrees perfectly smooth I don't want dead spots I don't want a diamond rotation I want full on 360 degree rotation so let me uh look around and see if I have another core or something that'll work because um, I'm running low now after all this winding I still have enough wire for another couple of attempts here but this is looking much better and we resolved a lot of problems with this one but it's not perfect yet <laughs> 